Damn, banana. <laughs> no way, man. Oh, yeah. Oh! Thank you. Our truck neck driver who had warm, warmed up what like to us at this point, mostly because of Pam. And uh, he well, dropped us off. He, yeah. loved all, he loved all yeah. of us. Yeah. He dropped us off at our um, Havali. Havali? Havali. Havali? Havali. And, um, and we didn't really have a plan. I was looking for a post office. Right. And there was an area that we'd driven by earlier that day that seemed really cute and had lots of shops and just like markety style, like local, um, like produce and stuff like that. So we were planning on just like kick around there. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of produce, so then Holly was buying some bananas from this I guy. I was starving. Yeah. I got up early and had breakfast early and then I was waiting for these guys and so they had just had breakfast like two or three hours after me and I was starving. Right. And then uh, some guy comes up and what was he saying, fam? He, I, was, I was trying to buy bananas from yeah. a vendor from like a... It, oh, and you didn't know the just, numbers in Hindi or Hindi, something like yeah, that. Yeah, and he just showed up and I just heard somebody say the number in English and I was like, what, who's that? And I looked over near it, here is this <laughs> taxi, our, our tuk tuk driver, just <laughs> chewing on his, his little tobacco his and then his mouth and just kind of spits it. I was like, yeah, it's it's this. She doesn't know the, <laughs> the words and the numbers in Hindi. And he goes, well, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> but before that, he actually saw us walking to the market. Oh, stalker. Yeah, he saw us, and he was in his tuk tuk and he yells out, and says, what are you guys doing? Where are you going? Five minutes later, he finds us on the street and actually pull, comes out of his car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, "See, you need me." <laughs> yeah. And then so instead of exploring that area, <clears throat> exploring that area, he um, he forced us he into his. He forced us into his duck tub, <laughs> and uh, and took us to a restaurant. Yeah, well, he's like, "What do you guys want to do?" And we figured we should eat, seeing as I was starving and everybody else is starting to get hungry too and we need to eat before we got on the plane or a train yeah um so yeah anyway so we had these bananas in a bag yeah and we were on our way to this place to eat and as i was saying earlier every time you're on the road adventurous stuff happens so don't keep your phone in your pocket keep it in your hand <laughs> which i did i to be clear i had it in my hand sometimes even when it's in your hand, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. <laughs> so, uh, he, I think it was him, right? That was like, oh, here comes a, there's an elephant. There's an elephant on the road. On the road. Uh, and so, oh, and he's like, yeah, feed him one of the bananas. And so I, I've got my phone, like I've got it, I put it on video mode. And then like, and then Holly thrust the bag of bananas in my hand. And I'm like fighting to like get a banana free from the bunch and in my other hand and then and then all of a sudden we're like on the, the elephant and i'm like oh my god <laughs> so like <laughs> i'm just about to throw this banana in and this the tractor driver has stopped so that we can feed the elephant this banana <laughs> like like just <laughs> so flustered it all happens with us <laughs> and so i'm trying to get this banana in this elephant's mouth which is like right there and uh, as I'm about to do that, then the elephant like pushes the cart and like <laughs> the tuk tuk like tips with us with its forehead and with his forehead and stalls the tuk tuk. <laughs> we, we tipped. Yeah, we yeah, tipped. We like <laughs> yeah, over. And I get get the banana in his mouth and like I think I'm gonna lose my hand because like <laughs> if you've ever touched an elephant, they've got like some like tough rough skin that's like coarse hairs and I was sure that his mouth was just gonna like rip off my hand <laughs> and then <laughs> and then I rammed the tuk tuk again <laughs> tips us again yeah <laughs> and our tuk tuk driver is trying to get it started and if it stalls out like that sometimes you have to push start like you have to get out and start it there was no time for that so oh luckily God. He managed to get it started and get us out of there. His tuk tuk, eight days old. Eight days old. The first mark <laughs> that got 
was from the elephant <laughs> pushing it out of the way. So we go to this restaurant and uh Oh Poor yeah, and, yeah. Also, pretty shat, like he's like. To be clear, I did not get a video of this. <laughs> <laughs> Phone was in one hand, on video mode, waiting to record. <sighs> but to be honest, though, if you think about it, like that video would have been. Well, let me demonstrate. I'm sure it would have been like this. Like, ah! <laughs> you just see an elephant mouth or something, and then screaming and. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and laughing. <laughs> The audio would be awesome. <laughs> the audio would be awesome, that's true. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So we went to this restaurant and uh, the Tuk Tuk driver is telling the story to his friends in the restaurant and the looks on people's faces, they're like, <coughs> really? We don't know. This kind of stuff could happen all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's not normal? Oh, okay. I swore never to go to that corner of the street again. <laughs> Yeah. And the one guy in there's like, oh yeah, I feed the elephants bananas all the time. He's like, not anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that was that day. The day that had no plans or much of like expectation or anything. It was a magical adventure. It was a magical adventure. Yeah, yeah it was a great time. And, and then, oh, and then we're, we're driving back so to amazing. our accommodation to grab our bags to then hit the train. Uh, we drove by the elephant again. And this time I, we did get a video, so. So, hmm? Oh. So, we were just in a vehicular incident. Yeah. yeah. A collision. <laughs> in a stuck duck in Jodhpur. Uh, it was us versus an elephant. Oh, it's right there. It is, it is. <laughs> Oh my god, it did. <laughs> okay, hold on, we'll be back. Damn, banana. <laughs> no way, man. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> So unbelievably, as we were filming this, we came across the same elephant just now. Maybe the elephant driver was like, you guys keep away. This chicken is eight days old. 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 Oh, they just bought some bananas. Eight days old. And they're like, our driver was like, oh, feed him one of the bananas. And then, frig man. And then the, the elephant like pushed the tuk tuk, like tipped it over, stalled the tuk tuk, and then I got the banana in its mouth. Uh, and man, I thought I was gonna lose a hand. And then, <laughs> and then it hit us again. <laughs> and the whole time I was just trying to take a video. Yeah, fail, super fail. It all happened so fast. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so that's our. Near death experience. Thank goodness Pam was here to translate for everybody. It was really entertaining. Oh my god.